Morgan, that's right. They did allow still photographers into the courtroom, and I believe we can call up the first pictures that we're seeing now. I believe these are from the Associated Press. There you see Donald Trump uh, in the courtroom, flanked by his legal team. Uh, of course, no video allowed of this court proceeding, this arraignment that's going on as we speak, but these still photos uh, released to document the event. And Morgan, these photos will now en enter the pantheon of sort of American news coverage of court scenes, and now a former president of the United States uh, in a courtroom. That's just something that we haven't seen before. So as we consider the historic impact of, of what we're seeing today, these images are likely to be seen again and again uh, in years to come. Uh, one point of note, the politics of all this are playing out simultaneously. Even as this arraignment is going on, the former president entered the hearing room at about 2.29 p.m. East Coast time by my count, and at 2.31, uh, the former president's uh, presidential campaign uh, released an email to supporters uh, entitled, My Indictment, uh, asking for campaign contributions. The former president's uh, campaign staff writing, I simply have to ask for your support during these unprecedented and dark times as the radical Democrats attempt to bury our campaign in never-ending witch hunts. The former president's campaign uh, has buttons here in the email uh, to contribute $24, $47, amounts up to $250 for his supporters. So the former president has been successful raising money off of this event since uh, his indictment last week. Even now, as he is uh, in the uh, arraignment process in the hearing room, and we're seeing these first still photos, his campaign uh, now raising money off that as well, which is a reminder to all of us that politics never stops, guys. I, b I believe that those uh, individuals sitting with him are the familiar attorney, uh, Joseph Takapina, who has uh, yes. appeared on television uh, frequently on the, pr on the former president's behalf, as well as Susan Nichelles and Todd Blanche, uh, who is on the far left there, just added, uh, if I've got that individual correct, a former prosecutor, just added to the Trump legal team within the last 24 hours. He has pleaded not correct. guilty, uh, uh, by the way, not, not surprisingly, uh, Eamon.